And now there is a massive quest by some out there, especially in Canada, looking for qualified people, not Aaron and Co. Qualify people to actually school in Canada. This is the conversation we are having with two distinguished men already here in the studios. And Richard Obin, assuming is the CEO of Asto Links International Ghana. Richard, you're welcome. Thank you. I hope you are doing well. Fantastic. He's joined by Iman uh, Hassani. He's also the Chief Operating Officer of Passage Canada. You know, Passage like a right of entry to yeah, yeah, yeah to Great to entry, a point. Yeah. Wonderful, Iman. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No, it's it's an exciting conversation because uh, let me first start with uh, you, Richard. What does Astolink offer? Good morning to our fantastic viewers and listeners across the world. Um, Astolink is a registered um, firm in Ghana here. And what we focus on is helping Ghanaian students to study abroad, specifically Canada, as one of our study destinations, to study right courses that will help them to improve their economic well-being. So that's basically what we, we do as uh, an organization or a company. I mean, Mr. Asani, why was Passage established and what solutions does he offer now? Yeah. So hello to everyone and thank you for having us. So at Passage, we are, we are having a mission to make uh, access to the right fit opportunities available to the people around the world. So I myself was an immigrant to Canada, and Canada is a great place uh, for people to grow and have the, there is a lot of opportunity there. So we believe talent is evenly distributed all around the world. There are so many talented people in Africa and specifically in Ghana and all around the world. Uh, but opportunities are not. So there are so many opportunities in Canada that people can have access, can thrive, and can have a, pr can have a prosperous life. But uh, the access to this was not available. So we started Passage, so we are providing funding solutions in, in, the, in the shape of loans uh, for a student who can, who can afford to study in Canada and can have access to good quality education. So also, Canada has a, is looking forward to have immigrants who are the right fit for the opportunities available in Canada. Oh, for so example, that's true. In, in healthcare. It's true, right? Yeah. Well, we've yeah. been hearing of that from several quarters, but we didn't know that it was real. Yeah, yeah, that is real because Canada, uh, the population has been aging. Uh, but on the, on, for example, in Ghana, we have a young population and people are ready to work. They have good mentality. They, they, they want to mm -hmm. contribute to the economy. But in Canada, the population is different. And in key sectors like healthcare, like trades, the, the talent shortage is available there. And if people have the right uh, skill and they study in the right program, of course, Canada always have been welcoming to immigrants, and there are opportunities for them to grow their their career and have a good life over there. How does this work specifically? How yeah. does the passage uh, system work in terms of uh, program eligibility and requirements? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have built a software. So we are a we are a technology company because all these requirement eligibilities and all of that is very complex. So we created the software and we studied the. Uh, immigration pathways and possible job talent shortages over there in Canada and we put everything in that software uh, and uh, if people go there and they, they insert their, their requirement and the quality and their background they can see what they are eligible for and there is all of the of the process is available for them and at the same time uh, we are very good at, at understanding Canadian market and requirement and funding eligibility finances and all of that uh, but when people apply, they go through the application, they go through the study, study uh, application, the admission requirement, then the loan eligibility, then the visa and all of that. So in order to find the right people, we partner with great partners like Astalinks because they know the culture here, they know the people here, so they can help us to find the right application. But once is, is in that software, everything is clear and they can go through the steps to, to see how they, can, uh, how they can go to Canada. So Iman Hassan is actually the chief operating officer of Passage Ghana, telling us the good news that I'm sure many of you did not know, and you're still writing down details that you surely would have to participate. I'll come back to you, yeah, um, you. Iman. Let me get back to you, Richard. I want us to, you to run us through the process a prospective student has to go through to secure Passage funding opportunity. Thank you, Raymond. Yes, so if you're a Ghanaian young person between 18 to 32 years, you have completed high school, polytechnic, teacher training college, 
or nursing training college or you have a first degree and you are below 32 years you are eligible to get a passage funding opportunity up to 75 percent and also you need to apply to the right school so we have courses like um, healthcare stem courses and trade courses and normally when we meet the student we're able to look at the specific courses and share with when we see stem courses we can look at courses like it data science mm. ai uh, cloud computing mm. if you look at trade courses like cooking uh, becoming a chef uh, plumbing mixing carpentry in ghana we don't really value a lot of people don't really place value on oh, yeah. people with these areas and we are, they are not really regulated so Canada need carpenters, they need masons, they need um, welders, artisans. artisans. Then we also look at area of uh, healthcare, nurses, midwives, um, public health professionals, uh, social workers, uh, support workers, and so forth. So if you are a graduate in any of these areas, and or you have a profession in any of these areas, and we are below 32 years, first of all, we will be able to help you to get admission to I mean, an acceptable institution that is recognized and acceptable also by uh, passage. And one of them is George Brown College uh -huh. in the uh, in Canada, on Ontario, specifically Toronto. Uh, we can help you to get admission. And once you get admission to the right course, then passage then comes in to look at your credentials. And once you're eligible, they can grant you a loan up to 75% of your tuition fees and living expenses so that you can go and study in Canada and then uh, study your course and we also look at other factors so that one i'll leave it but when we meet the applicant we'll be able to discuss those things with them yeah. that's that's an interesting perspective yeah i know that for most young people who have a degree also in these areas mm -hmm. the biggest headache is raising the funds yeah yeah getting the money to be able to fund it yes what you're saying mm -hmm. is that you provide up to 75 percent yes. of not only the fees and but expenses. also living expenses yes too. absolutely Yes, we are doing that, and students are getting the opportunity. So if they you're are, already doing that. Yes, you're already doing that. Yeah, you already have a started. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And you already have Ghanaian students. I, is it because you have a certain focus area? Yes, it's not for everyone. Brilliant. So you talked about the health sciences, yes, health right? courses. Yeah. You talked also about STEM. STEM. Yeah. Yeah. And you talked also about, about the artisanal areas, like we say trade programs, okay. like carpentry, mason, uh, welding, uh, refrigerate, refrigerating mechanic, mm -hmm. mechanic, mm -hmm. and yeah. so forth and so forth. So th these are there. There are so many professions you can go and study in Canada and get a job. So we we'll look into all those areas. I, it's very exciting. And right? remember, the beautiful thing yeah. about this offer is also that you know, getting uh, proving. Showing proof of fund is one of the challenge for a lot of applicants. Yes. So if you have a company yeah. in Canada saying that a Canadian registered company that is accepted, saying that look, we will give you a loan and you can add that letter to your visa application and show to um, Immigration Canada that look, I've got a loan company in Canada granting me seventy five percent of my tuition fee and living expenses. I think it could lead to the success of your study permit application. No, and it's a big relief. <laughs> yes, and my other problem is that you say it's for people who are under 32. Yes. Can you consider those of us who are older? Because we so may look I under can, 32, but we are question. older than that. So I need to I need to tell you the uh, shortly the philosophy of passage and how we are doing this so people mm -hmm. can judge the situation. Because the requirement and job shortages are changing all the time. It's a live market. That's, you have yeah. to they have to go to the software and understand what is available at the moment. So pa we we are enabling people to instead of borrow from their past, borrow from their future. They are committing to a past to contribute to the economy of Canada, to contribute to a career mm -hmm. that they can commit to that and there are going to be eligibility criteria, criteria so we can understand that they are truly committed and they have the right attitude to success. So in, in, in exchange, they will be successful and they potentially have very good income and they can have a li live a good life. Oh, so that's how so they pay? That's, that's how they pay. When okay. they come to Canada, they, go, they have to start paying back the loan and all of okay. that. So we want to choose the programs that are aligned with the job market okay. so they can they can find a job so they can have a good future but they have to be committed to the path and meet the eligibility criteria and all of that so the answer to the age question and all the requirement it really depends on at the moment what is available when we study on that so there is no specific requirement for age or anything oh, okay. so but 
the, the pathway to PR matters. If we, we have to study probably, and all of it is probability, we have to be make sure that these students have the good potential to become permanent residents of Canada and they can find jobs. So these requirements changing life. So today, and I'm not, for example, expert in Ghanaian market. That's why we are partnering with, uh, mm -hmm. with Astolinks and Richard yeah. knows that better, what is, what is good for the Ghanaian students and what should be those requirements. We put all of these requirements in the software and we partner with our partners so students can go visit there, can see what is required, what is available for them. So those requirements come as at the moment and at every every time for the, we have September intake, we have January intake, we have next year and all of that. So that planning for the future is really important. So when can I reach out to you? When uh, me and the masses who have been waiting for this opportunity for God knows how long, when can we reach out to you? How can we reach out to you? Now that I say that even the age one, depending on the situation, something can be done about it. When can we reach out to you? How do we reach out to you? Thank you, um, Raymond. Um, so I want to make another um, insertion here. Mm -hmm. So as he said, um, that even though there is no really age, he said something very important. We are looking at the opportunity to get permanent residents in Canada and your ability to secure those papers to be able to ref, um, repay, to get a really opportunity. That is why I put the age limit. But however, if people are watching me and they come to me, based on their individual profile, we'll be able to assess them and then advise them well. Um, how do people reach out? As to links, we are in Ghana. We have office in Kumasi, Accra, and Takrade. If anyone is interested, they can contact Asto Links in our office in Accra, located at 4A Purpose Street in East Legon. Mm -hmm. um, just adjacent uh, the mail uh, is the mail come, mm -hmm. and then we are online actively online on social media Astolink. platform. Astolinks. Astolinks. A S T O L I N K S. Yes. Astolinks. Astolinks. And then we also have our our business development manager also here right with us here, and mm -hmm. he's willing to uh, answer questions online or uh, answer their um, their emails or okay. respond to their emails, and he can be contacted by on zero five three. Seven one five two one one eight zero five three seven one five two one one eight. So we will be in our office in Accra today. If anyone is interested and want to know um, how they can go through the process, they can come to us. These days we have uh, online platforms. We can engage them through mm. Zoom and all other social media platforms. They can connect with us, and then we can go through the process with them. Um, counsel them to know whether they are eligible or not and also show them the pathway to become a, a applicant and then we take it from there. We currently have a September intake and January 2025 intake and we can onboard them once we interact with them. So it's possible to do it this year? To start the application this yes. year and go January 2025. Yes. September is already almost but if somebody has admission right now uh -huh. to say maybe George Brown College and they are waiting for funding, they funding have a opportunity with and that. probably also the, the, in case the course is an eligible course. Okay. You no, know, Raymond, we are not just funding every Everybody, course. Everybody, yes. We are funding yeah. courses that we believe when you finish, you can easily secure employment in around the world. Okay. So that you can so pay, that back, pay back. Pay back the loan. And wow. we know the courses that are high in demand okay. around the world. So we have high in demand courses in Canada, mm -hmm. high in demand courses around the world, and high even in Ghana, courses that we need really now even in our country. So in case you graduate from Canada and you were to come to Ghana, would you be able to find employment that can help you be able to pay back the loan so that investors can also get their money back? That's it. This is the best news I've heard the entire day. Thank you. And yes, Thank yes, you. yes, yes, yes. It's very exciting because yeah. I, I like, like, like people who have schooled elsewhere. Everybody knows that funding and being able to pay for it is every person's biggest headache. Of course. Yeah. Yes, because ordinarily you will get the qualifications. Yeah. And yeah. of course, your courses may be in tune. So I'm sure many people will be reaching out to you at Astor Links, and I'll be happy here to do maybe final words from you, Iman, before we go. Yeah, um, uh, just thank you for having us. I had a great time in Ghana and Accra, great people. I'm mm -hmm. so happy to, to be here and meet these wonderful people. It was my first time in Ghana. I'm super impressed. Uh, we are here at Passage. We are trying to help uh, people around the world to access to opportunities similar journey to that I went through and I, I, I could go to Canada 
And I, if I didn't have access to my good education in Canada, I was not able to have a good life and all of that. So mm. looking forward to, to be able to helping people and thank you for having us. If you are looking to go to Canada to do the right course and make sure that you make a better life for yourself, the biggest headache you've had, this is your money problem, is being resolved by these people. That's why you should reach out to them. And Richard Obina Sumin is the CEO of Astro Links International Ghana. Iman Hassan, he just told us about being in Ghana for the... Have you eaten fufu yet? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. tried it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I tried some is stuff. I've I seen around. Very nice. <laughs> oh, okay. So they asked me to ask you, what did you eat the fufu with? <laughs> Which soup did you eat the fufu with? <laughs> I do not know the name. Oh, okay. I was, I was what did it there. look like? <laughs> I had some great hosts and they told me, eat that and have oh, that. And you it just was just delicious. <laughs> so I was just having the opportunity <laughs> to have great hosts. Oh, okay. 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 Was it like soup? Taste the great I think yeah, you took like soup with goods. goods. Ah, yeah, okay. But yeah. chicken soup is the best. Yes, I does that many uh, believe that chicken soup fufu, chicken lye soup it is the best in the republic of ghana yeah. in fact it has fda approval anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah. well yeah. thank you so much Imantu, for joining us 